Do you know the chests you so much like to claim in your alliance when you first log in Rise of Kingdoms in the morning, hoping to find some speedups, gems and VIP points instead of silver keys? Well, today we are talking about it. And trust me, what I found makes absolutely no sense at all. You want to watch this video until the end. Let's get started. Hello gamers and welcome back to Wig Gaming. This right here makes absolutely no sense at all. But let me rewind for a moment to see where everything started from. A couple days ago, one of my channel members tagged me in our private Discord chat saying, Hey Wick, do you happen to know anything about the Alliance gifts? Because I feel like recently I have been averaging less VIP points and less good rewards from the gold chests in my Alliance. Of course, at the beginning I thought it was a case, it was bad luck, or it was a problem of the alliance gift level, because we know that in the very first gift levels, you get less rewards. For example, a gold chest below 20 might give you 4 silver keys instead of the 10 silver keys you are normally used to, so I forgot about the matter. But then, I always had this bug in my brain, and speaking on Discord with some players, they told me that you can actually look at the probabilities if you go on your bundle page and click on the alliance chest, and honestly, I didn't know that. From here, I started thinking. And you know what I do when I start thinking? I collected the data I needed. What if the probabilities changed with time? If Lilith adjusted them and we didn't know about it because it's one of the things they don't list in the patch notes. Like for example, yesterday's video about the dagger and the greatest glory being available in the egg event from the next January. If you haven't watched that, go watch it, card up on the top. Since I couldn't access any more the past probabilities, I started asking around if anyone happened to have old screenshots, and with some luck I received these screenshots from December 2020, so exactly one year ago. These are screenshots of the probability of the rewards for a level 3 gift alliance and a level 24 gift alliance respectively. Then I gathered the probabilities from my alliance, OV, which has a very high gift level, 39, we soon will be level 40. And when we hit that, I will also see if and how that will impact the probabilities, but I have already an idea. Anyway, what I had to do now is ask someone with gift level 24 to send me some screenshots. I sent a message on my Discord and in a few minutes like 50 people replied. That's absolutely insane. Thank you guys, you're always ready to help me and I cannot thank you enough. Hey, before we compare the numbers, if you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton and it's 100% free. And you can always change your mind later. Anyway, I immediately compared the old level 24 gift probabilities with the new ones. And I found absolutely no difference. So this means Lilith has not changed them in a while at least. No nerf happened here, as far as we know. So we can now compare all the data we have. What do we care for? Of course, three things. Speedups, gems and VIP points. Alliances with gift level 3 have 0.2% more chance to get the top gem rewards, 500 gems. The level 24 alliances will have overall more chances to get VIP points, which is good, but the overall chance to receive speedups for the level 24 alliance is 30.17%, while it's 34.54% for level 3 alliances. So does this mean that you will get more gems and more speedups from a level 3 alliance compared to a level 24? Gems, yes. Speedups, no because you will get less hours of speedups from a level 3 gift level alliance, so the slightly increased probability essentially makes up for it. You will get, on average, still a bit more speedups from the level 24 alliances, but we are talking small numbers here, probably a few hours a week or a month, depending of course on how many chests you are able to claim and the spending level of your alliance, we cannot dig further in this because it will make no sense. Every alliance is different. But wait for it, because things get really weird now. Let's compare level 24 alliances and level 39 alliances. So my alliance. After you hit level 30, you start basically to get wrecked under any point of view. The speedups you get are essentially the same, but the probabilities are different. And so it is for the gems and the VIP points. Every single gem reward has less chance to be dropped for a level 39 alliance. Compare it by yourself. 4.31% for the 50 gem here, 4.13% there. 2.15% chance for 100 gems, and here 2.06%. 1.5% 1 
1.29% for 200 gems, 1.23%. 0 0.86% for 500 gems, 0.82%. Same story for the VIP points. 4.31% for every pack up to 500 VIP points, while level 39 alliances have 4.13%. 3.44% for 2,000 VIP points, which is the 1,000 token, and you get two of them in both Alliance Gift levels, I checked, while on the level 39 gift, you have 3.30%. Speedups, same story, I'm not even going to read it. Everything is on the screen, and you can find the screenshots on my Discord if you'd like, or just share this video. Overall, level 24 alliances, and all the levels around, I suppose from 20 to 29 with very little changes, have 8.61% chance to get gems, while level 39 have 8.24%. For VIP points, 20.68% for the level 24 alliances, and 19.82% for the level 39 alliances. Speedups wise, 30.17% for level 24, compared to 28.91% of the level 39. Even if for level 39 you can always make the argument that you will get a couple hours more with the 60 minutes token, if I remember correctly, so that should level that out. But does it really level it out? I don't believe so, because we have not touched another topic. To get the crystal treasure reward, you need 3 million points for level 20 to 29 alliances, while 3.5 million points for a level 30 to 39 alliance, while it will be 4 million points for a level 40 alliance going up. The speed up increase does not make up at all for the extra points you need to accumulate to claim that crystal chest. In fact, in proportion you will lose speed ups from the crystal treasure chests as soon as your alliance hits gift level 30. And that is a fact. Unlocking the next tier of crystal treasure chests has not only no benefit, but actually it's hurting you overall on your speedups loot. And remember one thing, we just compare level 24 gifts with level 39 gifts. Do you know how much time and money it's required to go up to level 39? We are talking millions of dollars to get to level 39. Oh yeah, but there is a silver lining here, wait for it. Where did these probabilities go in reality? <laughs> well, you have way more chance now to get gold keys when you level up. Great. Well, rightfully so, when you have a level 39 alliance, you really need those gold chests because you really need Cleopatra, Ishida and Seondeok all over again. Right. Is it just me or is there something that makes absolutely no sense at all here? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I do think these issues should be addressed and the probabilities fixed up. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, share the video if you wish and I will see you on the next one. Ciao.